she reposted the next day and said, you got to stand up for yourself and your rights and don't listen to the bullying. But this time she posted the actual situation. So this is what the truth is. Coach Greg, in today's video is about Lauren Simpson. She's an extremely popular female bikini model, world champion bikini star on Instagram, 1.9 million followers. She's almost always in perfect condition. Recently, she had a twisted bowel, which is a life-threatening problem. She required immediate surgery. Okay, she's got the scars, not made up, and so on. This kind of surgery is intense. She couldn't train after, she couldn't do a routine. She's a very dedicated and hardworking female athlete. And so at that time she had to stop. There's nothing you can do. Life throws you curveballs sometimes. Trust me, I've had this. I had hip surgery, I broke my arm, couldn't train properly, and you atrophy, the muscles shrink. It sucks and it's hard on the head. And just because she's a famous bikini model doesn't mean it's any easier on her than you. You might not be a famous superstar, but trust me, the famous people go through the same exact things, the same feelings that you have. It's not easy to see your muscles shrink and tear away that you work so hard to build them. A couple days ago, she makes a post, a before and after. You've all seen the before and afters. In the before after, you stand there looking horrible, as bad as you can. And then in the after photo, you arch, you twist, you turn, you use the best lighting, tan and smile so that you can look amazing. So that the difference is like, wow, it's night and day. So I, for example, showed the world just how easy this is to do. I did a 15 second before and after. I had the gut hanging out, I was looking sad, and then I did the flex, and look at that. Before and after, amazing. It must have taken me 15 weeks to do that. No, it was 15 seconds. So Lauren, she made a mistake. She made a little bit of a boo-boo. She may have said, hey, this is my five week transformation. Look how much better I am now. Buy my program. People were extremely offended by this. They're like, look, we can see you standing there, not flexing, not arching, not twisted. We can see it. And they called her out on it, but they went too far, too far. It's okay to attack the action of the person, but you shouldn't attack the person themselves. She's only doing what everyone else does. Every freaking coach, including me, shows before and afters. Sometimes I fake mine as a joke. I throw a freaking towel, a big pillow on my stomach, and I do the before and after. Look at how much weight I lost on my stomach. I've even done the before and after. I showed it. I had my arm, I couldn't train it, and I did my best flex before and after, and then I said, look at the improvements. The only difference is I'm so much more open. I'm very transparent, let's call it. I'm like, look, I broke my arm, and now look at me. If I didn't say that, and say, hey, before and after, look at this. Not really very honest, but look, people do it all the time, and that's what she did. So there was thousands of hate comments, thousands. And she was like, oh my God, I can't unless she took the post down. You think famous people are immune to the bullying that happens online? No, you don't think I get hundreds of messages a day that are hating on Coach Greg? Hundreds a day, but I'm good at just attacking back because I enjoy it sometimes. But I listen to the positive. 95% of the people that write comments about me are good and positive and they understand my channel is trying to help people, not to just tear them down. I have very good messages in a lot of my videos. Yeah, I call people out on being natty or not and stuff like that, but whatever. I'm just trying to share the truth with the fitness industry. So you shouldn't be so hard on this girl. She doesn't deserve that. She's only doing what everyone else is doing. So she reposted the next day and said, you gotta stand up for yourself and your rights and don't listen to the bullying. But this time she posted the actual situation. So this is what the truth is. In the before photo, she can't even stand with an arch. 
you guys haven't had these surgeries. I had a freaking hernia surgery. I couldn't walk straight for a week. I couldn't arch my back for two months trying to bench press. I know what it's like. She was not able to physically get herself into that after pose position. She wasn't training. Her glutes shrunk. That's a very important muscle for a woman to look sexy. So she did the before and after, and then in the after, it had been enough time, and she'd corrected those posture alignment problems and issues, and had some time to train those glutes, to fire those glutes again. And guess what? Muscle memory is a real thing. You lose it quick, but boy, it comes back with a vengeance. So her after photo is a lot better able to make that change than most people. But granted, she is extremely arched and she's twisting out her toes to show the quadriceps so that you can visually see it from the behind. And so the picture is showing more transformation than actually happened. But listen, it's 2020, every single person does this. Get used to it. It's gonna keep happening. That is what happens. That's the real world. You know it's gonna happen. So when you see any before and after transformation, you already know this is happening. So don't call them on it. The smarter people, they arch a little bit and they do the thing so that it doesn't look like they're cheating. Hers is so obvious that she's not arching at the start to after that it's like, yeah, we see it and we're calling you out on it. In the after photo, if she would have relaxed a little bit more and stood a little bit more proper and did like the before, the transformation would have still been there. It would have still been very good, just not as extreme, but it would have actually looked better on her because people wouldn't have then called her out on this cheating or this arching or this excessive exaggeration of the change. Another thing, it is really hard, unless you have special genetics, to have large glutes when you're as lean as this girl. She's consistently at 15% body fat or less. I watched the story, it's not recorded, but I know she had a DEXA scan and it had come out at around 11.9%. She's not claiming to have had 11.9, but that's what the DEXA scan said, which we know is not accurate. But trust me, she's close to that. She's 15%. She's lean all the time, but she carries her fat in the proper way or the lucky fortunate way so that it looks sexy. We'll use that word. Okay. Not everyone is that lucky. A lot of girls that would get as lean as her, they lose all the fat from their glutes and they have no glutes. She's now self-conscious about her bum. Why? Because, well, before it was an amazing body part and now it's not that way. It's a muscle that she's going to have to relearn to develop and to get to her old self. And maybe she never does. I used to have freakishly huge glutes and I had my hip surgery and I had to walk on crutches for six weeks and I had to wait six months before I could train my legs properly. My right glute, the one side that had the operation, it looked like Hank freaking Hill. Mr. Hill. You have no ass. I had a Hank Hill ass. It was flat as a pancake. I had no muscle there. I'd lost two inches on my quad. It was tiny, but guess what? It came back, not the very next day, like the freaking cat, but it came back. The cat came back. But not the very next day. It just couldn't stay away, those glute muscles. But I had to work. It took about two years. Now, guess what? My right leg is once again bigger than my left, the way it was. But it took a long, long time. And I looked in the mirror and I was scared. I didn't know, will I ever be able to regain my form? Will I ever be able to compete again at that level? And I did. And I came back at my best ever. But it took time. Then I broke my arm. And I said, will I ever get it back in then? And no, no, I didn't. I'm 44 years old. My right tricep is not the way it was before. It's not as big. It's been two years. I still train hard. I train harder than last time, but I can't continue. There's only so much your body can do after a while. It's just going to deteriorate and fall apart. Father time catches up to us. I'm 44, but I'm still doing the best I can in hell. It's still good enough. I'm still happy. I'm still proud of how I look. Don't have a mental disorder. Not every single person that trains and eats healthy has a disorder. You're allowed to be proud of how you look. You're allowed to brag about it. You can say, hey, this looks good. I'm happy with how I look. I'm proud I earned this physique by training hard. 
So to Lauren, don't hate on her. She did what everyone else did. She made a mistake. We all have mistakes. I make freaking mistakes all the time. I probably made 10 this morning already. So relax, relax a little. Let's just not worry about this girl. She is a hardworking, dedicated athlete and she's trying to make money. She's trying to coach and sell programs. Every coach that's trying to sell programs, almost every single one is gonna show a before and after like this. And yes, good on you for noticing. Good on you for being educated to see and have a trained eye and be like, no, that before and after isn't a true before and after, but good on you for noticing, but just don't hate on her. She could have done a better job. She took down the post because of all the comments. She reposted it and had a much better explanation. And this second post is a legit post. Before and after, yes, it's not really fair because my glutes are this way. But look, this is the world bikini champion. World champion. One of the best looking and best built women on this planet of billions of people. And she's standing in the before photo and look at it. That's how one of the best looking girls in the world looks when standing relaxed, standing normal. Use that for motivation. Say, that is what the best people in the world can look like standing relaxed. So rather than critique the after photo saying you're cheating, look at the before photo, then look at yourself and say, geez, I need to forgive myself. I need to be less critical on my own physique because look at her. She is the world's best. She's one of the best in the world. And that's how she looks. It's still impressive. Even her before or after with the glutes not flexed and stuff, it's still 99% better than most people. So don't worry about that. But realize that's the best and that's how it looks. So be less critical on your own physique. Okay, so if anything, what I took from that photo is you can get injured, life can throw you a curveball, and you can lose some muscle and not look your best all the time, which you've worked so hard to do, which she has. But don't let it stop you. You can get back to training. She didn't give up. She could have just said, ah, I'll just keep posting my old photos. I've already won Bikini World. I don't need to compete ever again. I'm just going to post old photos. No, she trains, she does everything it takes, she's still eating properly, and she's trying to improve. That's what you need to respect from this girl. Not the before and after, the fact that she hasn't quit. That she's training harder than last time and she's not giving up. Just because she has a before and after photo like this, it doesn't take away from the fact that she still knows what she's doing. She's shown it every single year in her life. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Doucette, IFBB Pro. Follow me on Instagram, blooping up two videos. Watch this one, or if not, make sure you watch this one. At least watch one. Come on, you can watch one. And until next time, I am out.